Did I say that there are no Shia in Saudi Arabia? Huh? <laughs> I said Mecca has never been a Shia city. Is this true or is it false? I said that I do not anticipate Mecca becoming a Shia city. No. In the sense of Mecca accepting this doctrine that succession is divinely ordained and it is restricted to the family of the Prophet So on this doctrine we are talking about. I said that it is impossible for Mecca which is not Shia, it is Sunni. Only in this doctrinal sense we are talking. For a Sunni Mecca to give the bay'ah to an Imam al-Mahdi who is Shia. That's not possible. This is a statement I have made. And it has been twisted in so many different ways it becomes strange to look at. I gave this as my part of my argument that Imam al-Mahdi would not be Shia. But when he declares himself to be the Imam al-Mahdi at the Kaaba, I know there are going to be lots of Sunnis who will reject him. Lots of Sunnis will reject him, declare he's a terrorist. <laughs> Particularly the Sunnis living in the Zionist, the Zionist land, you know, Saudi, um, United States of America and Canada and Britain and Europe and so on, and Australia and Singapore. He's a terrorist, says another you Osama bin Laden out there. <laughs> so some Sunni will accept him and follow him. Some Sunni. This one will say, but he is not the Obandi, so I'm not going to follow him. That one will say, he's not going to be Brailvi, so I'm not going to be following him. That one will say, he's not this one and he's not that. All the sectarian movements in Islam will disown him. <laughs> so who will follow Imam al-Mahdi on that day amongst the Sunnis? My view is very few. And then what will happen to the Shia? I believe that many Shia are going to reject him, Imam al-Mahdi. I believe that they are going to be Imam al-Mahdi's around the corner before the real Imam comes. The Zionists have probably already crafted an Imam al-Mahdi. I heard there's one in Turkey. Let me not mention his name. <laughs> Written a lot of books. <laughs> So, we're going to have a number of Imam al-Mahdi's coming along the road. And it is only those with true knowledge and insight, only they will be able to recognize, nope, that's an imposter. That is not the true Imam. And I fear, I fear, I fear for the Shia, who I consider to be Muslims and therefore my brothers that many of them are going to be taken for a ride by someone who's going to be an imposter coming along tomorrow and declaring, I'm Imam al-Mahdi. When will Imam al-Mahdi come? The answer is in Sahih Bukhari. Kaifa antum, said the Prophet What a wonderful time that would be. Iza nazala alaykum no maryam. When the son of Mary will descend amongst you, wa imamukum minkum, and at that time your imam will not be George Bush in the White House, or Obama, or the Security Council of the United Nations, because the imam has supreme authority. Eh? But your imam will be minkum, meaning the Khilafah will be restored. Darul Islam will be restored. That is Imam al-Mahdi. And so the advent of Imam al-Mahdi, I'm going to use a big word now. The advent of Imam al-Mahdi is an event 
which will be contemporaneous, occurring at the same time. Contemporaneous with the return of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. This one coming just before that one. How much time is there left before Nabi Isa alayhi salam comes? Do not attempt to answer that question unless you've done your homework and you've studied Ilmu Akhiru Zaman. Many of my books outside that I've written are on the subject. Ilmu Akhiru Zaman. It is the most important branch of knowledge in Islam today. And it is the one branch of knowledge which is not being taught. Ilmu Akhiru Zaman. Please study that subject before you begin to make an estimate of how much time there is left. I always stick out my neck and give a figure. <laughs> Even though I know they're going to come after me and say, you're God, only God knows the future. <laughs> no, I stick out my neck and I give a figure. Of course, always saying I can be wrong, Allah knows best. In order to condition your minds about an up approximate time frame. That's all I'm doing. An approximate time frame. By my understanding, we probably have about 25, 30 years left before Nabi Isa Islam would come down. Some of my students say to me, Sheikh Imran, you're wrong. It's much less than that. When Imam al-Mahdi comes, and he proclaims himself Mahdi at the Kaaba. I know at that time there will be amongst the Shia those who will accept him and follow him. And there will be amongst the Sunni those who will accept him and those who will follow him. And at that time we will not be Shia and Sunni anymore. We would have restored the united Ummah that Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam left. And I want to end the lecture tonight by saying that if that is what is going to come tomorrow, you should make the effort from today. Don't consider all the Shia to be the same. And don't consider all the Sunni to be the same. There are those whose Qibla is in Washington. So do not allow your mind to be corrupted and reach out amongst the Shia for those who will unite into one solidarity in fighting a common battle against a common enemy with the prayer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will unite us on that day when Imam al-Mahdi returns. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samil alim wa tab alayna ya mawlana إنك أنت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين أمين